Star-crossed, or star-crossed lovers, is a phrase describing a pair of lovers whose relationship is thwarted by an earthly means. The term encompasses other meanings, but originally it means the pair is being thwarted by a malign star, or that the stars are working against the relationship. Astrological in origin, the phrase stems from the belief that the position of the stars ruled over people's fates. It's best known from the play Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare, but the term is also applied to Lancelot and Guinevere, Tristan and Isolde, Pyramus and Thisbe, and Anakin and Padme. All of these relationships ended in death and destruction. But unlike Anakin and Padme, Ben and Rey are on the reverse path. Instead of the man becoming a monster, Ben's selfless love for Rey will make him a true man. Instead of an empowered queen dying from a broken heart, Rey begins as a lowly scavenger, but is armed with a saber and will become Ben's equal. Staring from that coffin, Rey's eyes were open, awakened to love, where Padme's were closed forever in darkness. Even Ray and Kylo Ren's musical themes and motifs hint of this reverse love story. When one listens to the end of Kylo's motif, it rolls into the beginning of Ray's theme, and when played backwards, it is the first notes of Anakin and Padme's theme across the stars. Ben Solo and Ray of Jakku are not star-crossed. They are force-destined. They are not ill-fated. To kill one of them, or both, would keep the sad cycle spinning in a never-ending abyss of torment and tragedy. We have seen in two films now the Force bringing these two together, much to their own dismay at times. From their first meeting on Takodana to the last Force bond on Crate, Ben Solo and Rey have been forced together. Although when they fight each other in hate or disagreement, they are forced apart until they learn the true meaning of compassion. They will share a passionate, unconditional love. Look at what the Force has done already to the power couple when they did not work together. When Rey began to beat Ben down in the forest on Starkiller Base, the Force literally created a flaming chasm between them. When they were battling over the lightsaber after the throne room fight, the Force again broke them up by breaking that same lightsaber in half, teaching the lovers to work in harmony instead of following their own solo melodies. Ultimately, the Force is bringing these two together to be the very balance the galaxy needs, that they themselves need. The Force theme sweetly plays as the very stars in the universe submit to space and time, allowing Ben Solo to touch the fingertips of Rey. That same theme then resounds triumphantly when Ben Solo kills Snoke and chooses her over his master. The Force backed not the apprentice killing the master, but the Dark choosing his balancing light. Since their union is the will of the Force, Emerson and I feel that the legacy saber, the legacy of Anakin Skywalker, will be one of the bridges that will bring the two back together a permanent force bond becoming a compassionate one. Selfishness, loss of compassion, and power struggle will end if there's to be a new Jedi Order, whether it is called Jedi or not. It must have, as Anakin stated, compassion, selflessness, and unconditional love. The old ways must die, giving way to the new. Love is not love. The two people connected by the red thread are destined lovers. Which alters when an alteration finds, regardless of place, or bends with the remover to remove, regardless of time. Oh no, it is an ever fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken, regardless of circumstances. It is the star to every wandering bark. This magical cord may stretch or tangle, but never break. Both Ray and Ben will finish what Anakin started 
and profess to his future wife, Padme. This love is being written in the stars across the galaxy. And this love will be the legacy of the Skywalkers and the Solos. Hello, this is Emrys, and with Luthien, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and click on that little bell icon that will give you notifications every time we post a new one. And of course, like, comment, and do all those things. <laughs> Peace, love, and Raylo, guys.